Bow. So there it is, you guys, the new GoPro Hero 9. Now I had the last GoPro, I had the GoPro Hero 8. I was able to sell mine for just slightly less than what I bought it for and then end up picking up this one for $50 more than what I actually paid for it. Super juice that I got this right here, you guys. The GoPro Hero 9, it just sort of dropped out of nowhere. It's got the front facing screen on here so you can see yourself while you're actually recording. The last GoPros didn't have that. And it has a detachable lens that comes on and off. So if your lens gets scratched or anything like that you could go ahead and pull it off they're having a really good deal on their website right now you guys should go check it out I'm not sponsored in any way this is a car channel so we're gonna see how this baby does on a car matter of fact let's go get some car shots right now tell y'all I had the biggest most epic fail with this GoPro y'all I just drove around for like an hour I went completely out of town I'm driving around looking like a fool with this thing on my head getting the shots for you guys man I was out there everywhere and I take this thing off cuz I'm about to run into Wally world right quick I wasn't recording what? And people was looking at me crazy. I mean, I took the freeway. I drove for like 30 minutes, looped all the way around, came back. I was driving for like an hour out there getting the shots for y'all. And now it's all for nothing. Y'all could care less. I know y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all still like, well, where's the footage at? Well, what you gonna do instead? If you guys get wind noise, it's because my windows are down. I figure y'all want some exhaust noise. One of the new features of the GoPro Hero 9 is it records in 5K. So right now we're in 5K. So you guys can get an idea of what 5K looks like. Damn, lights killing me. Okay, got some classic cars over there. This is a body shop right here, you guys. Always got some beautiful cars out there. Camaro, look like a six or a four though. Damn, I'm so salty that I wasn't recording. Like I thought I was done driving around looking crazy with this thing on my head. guys so we back at it it's a whole new day i don't know how much i got actually recorded yesterday but y'all get some exhaust noise and uh i'm gonna just let y'all run around town with me today Need to swing over here to O'Reilly's right quick, y'all. Get what we need for tomorrow's video. I can't wait, you guys. Hopefully you guys like it as much as I think I'm about to like it. All right, y'all, so there it is down there. That's what we had to pick up over here at O'Reilly's. You guys stay tuned for, oh, shit, I got my mask on. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned till tomorrow's video to see what I got. 
but I think y'all will be juiced just like I am. It's a tool to get a job done that's been, eh, it ain't been long overdue, but I've been wanting to get to it. I was gonna wait a little bit longer to do it, but you know your boy ain't got the patience. Love this exhaust. What y'all doing, man? Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry. I just I can't help myself, y'all. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all scared to go. Bro. Just go. It's a new type of truck. I ain't seen one of them. I love the Corsa because once you hit like 3K where we at and then you go... <laughs> Love this exhaust. I'm telling you though, the courses, you hit that 3K RPM and punch it. Shit, sound like a race car. Damn. That's where I gotta go right now, y'all, where that train is. what i feel like man what's good youtube all right so i drove around with the gopro hero 9 all day yesterday oh sorry if the lighting's messed up i can see i got this light right here it's kind of washing me out but hey it is what it is all right so i had the gopro hero 9 for the last two days i've been driving around with it i also had the gopro hero 8 i told you guys the story earlier in the video how i ended up with this one i want to go over the features and let you guys know how i'm feeling now that i've had this a couple of days initially just right off top some of my thoughts the battery life on this they say the battery is 30 percent bigger it might be 30 percent bigger and maybe because of the front facing camera it is actually putting out a lot more power but in the everyday real world use I don't see this battery being any better than the last battery and in fact I would argue that it's probably a little bit worse it felt like the battery was just getting killed on this thing like super quick I was also recording in 5k the entire time so that is a larger strain on the battery so definitely take that into account but also once I realized how quick the battery was draining I shut off this front facing camera altogether. So, oh, also too, if you guys notice my signs up now, <laughs> I went back and watched the beginning of this video and saw what I had recorded, my signs all falling, but my sign don't look all janky anymore. We got to reach for an epic finish, man. That's what it's all about on this channel. We going after what we want, just like I say all the time. Believe in yourself and then bet on yourself, you guys. So back to the camera, the battery life. Mmm, definitely getting a lower mark than the last time. This battery door is just like loose let me see if you guys can hear it I don't like that it is what it is though another cool feature about this is the detachable lens so if you just twist it this lens does actually slide off so if you were to break this front glass you could replace it which is really nice because the previous generation GoPro you were just SOL if this front glass cracked so that's a really nice feature now what actually sold me on this camera is the front facing screen right here. If you're a vlogger, I think that this is awesome if you vlog. The GoPro really makes a great vlogging camera. It's not that bad at all. If you're just trying to dip your foot off, there goes my sign. If you're a vlogger and you're just starting off, a GoPro is more than a good enough camera. I would argue, I would argue that a GoPro might be slightly better than your phone camera. The difference is being that the GoPro has a much better like color and the way you look comes across a lot better. But your camera phone, if you have an iPhone 11, gets just as crisp of a picture, but you don't get that fisheye effect. That's the only issue with the GoPros is the fisheye effect. In terms of being an action camera, which it actually is, the GoPro is more than 
been worthy. The last few GoPros have been good. If you guys have a GoPro 7 or if you have a GoPro 8, I wouldn't recommend actually upgrading to this camera unless you specifically want this front facing lens for vlogs. That's the only way I would recommend upgrading to the Hero 9 if you have a 7 or an 8 because I think other than that, the 7 and 8, they're totally up to par at this point. The picture on this is not any better. I did not notice a difference with the 5K versus the 4K. It all looks roughly the same. Now, let's see if this thing is waterproof. Oh, moment of truth. Is it waterproof? That landed harder than I wanted it to. All right, now that we're back in the crib, you guys, that's gonna do it for my review of the GoPro today. If you already have a seven or an eight, stick to that. If you're not gonna vlog and you don't have a GoPro, I would recommend getting the Hero 8. I'm not quite sure that this is worth the extra money. It's cool, I like it, I don't regret buying it, but I'm not quite sure it's worth that extra money. But this your boy ZT Zooming. You know I'm keeping it moving on this channel, baby, and we out. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Peace.